Responding to COVID is not the only mission that would have been hard to predict at the beginning of the year. Today, the Department is resisting the civil unrest that is gripping certain cities across the country. And let me be clear, those who seek to undermine our democratic institutions, indiscriminately destroy our businesses, and attack our law enforcement officers and fellow citizens are a threat to the homeland. Some politicians and media figures have brazenly characterized the extreme violence in Portland and other cities around the country as mostly peaceful. Our Constitution protects the natural right to freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. The Department supports the exercise of everyone's First Amendment rights. There is, however, no constitutional right to loot, to burn, or to assault law enforcement officers or your fellow citizens. Let me repeat, there is no constitutional right to burn cities to the ground and assault the men and women of law enforcement. But make no mistake, there's more work to be done as we see groups right here at home seeking to tear down our government institutions and our way of life. I'm proud to say that DHS has taken unprecedented actions to address all forms of violent extremism, to specifically include threats posed by lone offenders and small cells of individuals. Let me be clear. DHS stands in absolute opposition to any form of violent extremism, whether by white supremacist extremists or anarchist extremists. We will continue our daily efforts to combat all forms of domestic terror.